There's nothing that could top it. There is no, there's nothing in the world that could compare to being in the wilderness, alone, close to God. There's nothing in the entire club, millions of dollars, pretty women, fancy cars, vices that go with modern society. There's nothing to com compare to it, gentlemen, period. Because you're there and you're adoring it and you have it to yourself and God is right there holding your hand. Because you're close to God then when you're in the wilderness alone for weeks on end. Man, you're as close to God as you're going to get. The creatures of the forest just might be some of my best friends because they don't lie to you. They're honest about what they do. There's so much to absorb. There's so much to observe. There's so much to see, uh, experience, and be a part of. You become a part of it. You're not separated. I'm not a tourist as such. In a way I am. We all are tourists. But to become a part of the natural flow, that's where that influence to some of my writing come from. We're a social creature, whether we like it or not. I'm becoming more and more of a hermit. We are a social animal. I was born in the country and I would prefer to die in the country. The perfect day for me is being in the Allegheny Mountains, dragging on a clear blue autumn day. The sky is gorgeous and dragging trout out of the creek of my choice and having a pretty girl on my arm at the same time. I want to go shark fishing. I want to climb the highest peak in Antarctica. I want to kayak off the Aleutian Islands. I want to go to Africa and ride a zebra. You seen anybody riding a zebra? Have you ever seen that? I haven't. I want to ride a zebra, damn it. You look good doing it, man. <laughs>